Hey, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Field Trips. I wanna start off this episode before we dive into it by saying that I know I have been slacking on episode uploads. I am so sorry. Been dealing with some stuff in my personal life, got a lot going on. Working on some work-life balance kind of took a little bit of a break, a little bit of a hiatus, but that's over now. The show is back, the content is back, about to be hitting it hard and heavy, about to be editing my you-know-what off. I'm here in Panama right now, and look at this. That's my house. Well, my casita, my guest house. The real house is gonna go there at some point. I don't have the money for that yet. I don't make that much money, but this is my place. Now, it's ugly right now. Look at the yard. It's dirt. Not beautiful, but we're working on it. It just got finished. I've been staying it in this trip here in Panama. Your girl Jennifer, my girl Jennifer, but really y'all's girl, everyone loves her more than me. Jennifer McGuire is here with me this trip. So this episode is gonna be fishing with her. Next week, or maybe sooner than that, I'm hoping maybe I'm gonna start cranking them out to a week, I don't know. I gotta make up for lost time. I'm so sorry, you guys, that I've been MIA. I've been having text messages from fans saying, are you alive? Is everything okay? Did you die? I'm so sorry, you guys, but I'm back. We're back. Great to have you back. Field Trips HQ here in Panama. Uh, we got our own place, we got a lot of work to do. We just planted coconut trees in the ground this afternoon. That eventually is gonna be one of those. Big old coconut tree. Super exciting, a lot of work to do. But anyways, this trip, we got Jennifer here. We're gonna go out and do some paga fishing in this episode and then next episode we're gonna be going with the guys with Dakota the head guy at Los Buzos and uh, our, our mates our captains some of those guys we're gonna be going way off the grid doing some camping that's gonna be next episode then after that we're gonna be back with Jennifer doing some kayak fishing so we got I think three episodes of Field Trips Panama coming up then after that we're gonna be going back to the United States and I've already filmed it I just got to edit it I got to get off my you know what and get back to editing but I'm on it after that, we're gonna be going, we're gonna be hitting Florida, Mississippi, just did a killer series through Mississippi again. That series last year was so popular. I hope you guys enjoy it. We're doing all different things, me and Brooks, running through the state of Mississippi. Then after that, we got going up the Midwest. We got Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, which South Dakota is one of the bigger hidden gems in the United States. You guys should get excited for that. We got a ton of field trips coming up. I'm so sorry, I've missed you guys. I hope a few of you have missed me. If not, I hope you are ready for some more. We're coming back. We're back, baby. But anyways, I'm gonna cut this now. You're gonna see me and Jennifer probably. I don't know, I already filmed it. We gotta edit it. I don't know, you know, this stuff's complicated. Not that complicated. I'm about to go fishing and catch some fish with Jennifer. We got Jennifer, we got camping. We got Jennifer kayak fishing here in Panama. It's gonna be epic. Then we're going back to the States and we're gonna have about 12 episodes in a row of the United States. Then we'll probably be back here in Panama by then. A lot of field trips coming up, you guys. I've missed you, I'm sorry I've been gone. I'm back, thank you for anyone that's here right now. Uh, YouTube really punishes you for not putting out episodes for a while, so I'm sure my channel's in the, I know my channel's in the toilet. Hopefully it'll bounce back quick. Tell your friends, Robert's back, please. I miss you guys. We're back, baby, we're doing it. Anyways, I'm gonna quit yapping and get to the fishing. Thank you guys for being here, I really appreciate it. A lot more field trips coming up, here we go. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Field Trips Panama. We're here with me in Mono Pio and my lovely, wonderful girlfriend, Jennifer McGuire. Hi! <laughs> and we got some crazy wind today, so we're not taking the kayaks out. We're gonna do some panga fishing, head down, a little ways down the coast, maybe about 10 miles down the coast, see what we can get into. You can't tell right here, because we're in our protected bay but the wind is ripping today. So we're gonna see how this goes, see what we can get into. I think we're gonna get into something. We'll see what happens. It's beautiful right here, it's so nice. Give it about three minutes, <laughs> it's gonna be less nice. All right, so we got a little ways farther to go to get out to the spot we're gonna fish, but we're gonna throw out a few marlin skirts and troll the rest of the way there. We're kind of in prime marlin zone now. Gotta go down there anyways, might as well have some hooks in the water, so we're about to troll the rest of the way. We're gonna get these rigged up, drop these out of here. 
Eso digo. No bonita. <risa> ok. That's a big one. Yeah, we can double up. Okay. Go ahead, but you just, you see where I am? I'm in. Oh, I'm out. We out. Oh, oh, oh. No. Ah, it came off. That thing was. That was humongous. Gigante, amigo. Oh, oh. <laughs> we out. Oh, goodness gracious. That was big. Ah, uh, how did it come off? My drag was too loose. Let's check your drag real quick. You see it? No, no, no. Uh, These reels are screwed up. That was huge. That way. That thing. Oh, that was starting to take off. Yeah. Okay, okay. Try that. screwed up our one good shot at them. The one time we saw the tunas, I had one on, but I didn't check my drag, it's too light. And it slacked the line on me and got off. Hey, yeah, you're doing great, babe. If there were tuna here, you'd be hooked up. Perfect job, that's gonna happen. Doesn't matter how much, with practice it happens less, but always it happens. Uh, okay. Vamos a San Patricio y si vemos más. Sí. Pero la zona va por allá, pero va adelante. Ah, uh, sí. All right. We're gonna not waste any more time with this. We're gonna head to the spot. If we see some on the way, we'll stop and cast at them. Okay, if you're gonna put that there, just be careful. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna use it. So. There, there's, look, there, there's some there. Yep, just cast that way. They might not be even need as he's saying, but they look like it to me. 
Uh-huh. Ahí está. There you go. Woo! I love that sound so much. <laughs> yeah, you don't get too much of that bass fishing. Not like that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need to tighten up a little bit. We're running out of line here. Yeah, I know. Alright. Wow. Well, see, they're done. See, see, they're done. Tan flojo. Dakota, 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 you got a radio on? No. <laughs> ah, I solo tengo uno con plomo. That's okay. That's okay. Con plomo, sin plomo, it's okay. Yeah, you gotta get some crown back on that guy. <laughs> he was about to spoil ya. Jennifer's on, just cast up into a school. Benita, first cast. Got a drag screamer. But it's slowing down now. We're gonna put this, this out live. Oh, there, there it is. He's trying to swing him into me. Oh, just be ready, he may talk, take off again. Nice done, nice work. Holy mackerel. No, it's a bonita. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. My dad would have loved you. Or loved you. He loved that moment. <laughs> now what will hit that? Something big, obviously. Kubera snapper could. Rooster could. Oh, okay. Marlin could. Sailfish could. So you're could. dropping it down on top of it. Yep. Dropping it down like this, I'm kind of hoping for a Kubera. Or a rooster, but more likely a Kubera. What the beast? Siento. That little fish likes my arms. I need bigger arms. Oh. oh. Hey, you want to take it? Take it. Go, go, go. If you're gonna go, just set it down. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Found the fish. Just got here. Just started. Oh, oh, real. Don't let it slide. That's not a bonita, I don't think so. Don't let it slack. Make sure you keep reeling. Oh, there it is. Oh, what we got? No puede ser bola. Metal. Grouper. <laughs> wow. Brutal grouper, amigo. Primero tiro, en serio. Look at that. That's dinner. Wow. Look at that, babe. Oh Look at that. First drop, pretty much. Jennifer's got a little oh broom goodness. tail grouper. It's too young to have the, the broomy tail, but this is delicious. This is dinner. <laughs> Jennifer here just caught us dinner. Look at that. Great work. Thank you. Possible. Oh. 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 Estaba muy emocionado. Fish on, but I think it's a bonita. I was all excited. Los dos piezas separados. Good though. We need a bait because we just caught that grouper on it. Perfect timing, just like I planned. No one eats those. Pompano. Ah, pompano. Sweet. Ah, it's so, it's so cool. Sweet African pompano. Aha. Look at that sweet little surprise. African pompano, a lot of people, a lot of our clients end up confusing these for rooster fish. This one's kind of broken, but they have these kind of long wispy dorsal fins. A lot of clients were rushing over there saying, I got a rooster, I got a rooster, but it's one of these guys instead. But 
African pompano, great eating fish. We like to make ceviche with these guys. Not a huge one, but decent. They don't get real huge out here. And I've caught these guys from Florida to Hawaii to here. This basically, this could be appetizers. Do a little ceviche with this guy. Sweet catch. Throw him on ice too. That's crazy. Oh, Hang, on. Hang on tight. Oh. You might have to go around the motor, babe. Just don't let it on the motor. Hey, it's real, real, real. Real, 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 real. When it slacks, do not let it slack. You got it. Oh, Jennifer's on something big. Jennifer's on something big. When it stops, you got to real, 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 real. Keep that tight. It's the only way you'll lose it. Slack that line. Don't slack the line. You got it. Oh, screaming drag. Screaming. What? Jennifer got something big on. Screaming drag. And it's heavy. It's working her. <laughs> Lift up and then reel down. There you go. You, you got it. Oh! No. Whoa! Something big, babe. <laughs> there you go. You got it. You can rest after. Drag's really tight, he said, so for it to be ripping that off, that's something big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gaining ground on it. Oh. Shut oh. your mouth. <laughs> oh, no, it's going to do that more. You can count on that. I... Do you see color? No. Oh. Look oh. No, it's still a little ways down there. You're gaining good ground on it, though, babe. You got it. He's thinking it's a big Amaco Jack. <laughs> you like, I'm gonna sound the Yeah, it sounds like you're doing something else half the time. <laughs> well, I'll let this probably just as much. Oh! No! Yeah. Oh. If it was easy, this would be lame. You got something giant. Oh. Jennifer's on something big, you guys. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. No, you're mine. You got it. Just keep it, keep it. Make sure you keep the pressure. Keep it tight. Oh my gosh, still ripping off drag. You need to be working it up. The longer you fight it, the more things can go wrong. Yeah. Do what you can. You're definitely winning now at this point. You weren't not too long ago. <laughs> Something big, you guys. You can't get Jennifer's, you know what, but she started turning around. She's turning this fight around. Real, real fast. You're gonna have to reel faster. You're lowering the rod tip before you reel. Yeah, it's getting close. It's getting real close. This is something good. No, no, no. I feel like it's showing right now. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, no. Oh. You come back. No. Real, real, real. So you're slacking it when you're dropping that rod tip, babe. You gotta start reeling and then drop the rod tip as you reel down. Reel first, drop second. You're doing great. Oh, oh, reel, 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 reel. Yep, careful. Oh. <laughs> You got it, babe. You strong, independent woman. Ah! <laughs> oh. It's close. Ugh. You're doing great. You're doing great. Jennifer, in the middle of a battle with something big on the jig. It looks like we got some color. Yep, yep. Plateado. Might be a big Almaco Jack is what we've been thinking. Keep that line tight, babe. Don't worry about looking at it. You focus on the reel. We'll tell you what it is when it gets up close. 
Voila. Big old Almaco Jack. Stud on the jig. Ay, wow. Grande, no? Babe, huge fish. Huge fish. Get ready, that motor. Look at that! Phew! Alright, try to swing him in and keep that line tight still. And be ready, he may take off, so you just act like the peel's not doing anything. Giant, babe! Yeah! <laughs> Look at that! That's 40 pounds all day. How was that fight? <laughs> babe! Amigo! Yeah! <laughs> Look at her legs shaking. <laughs> oh my goodness. Monster. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> what a fish. What a fish. Oh, that is a giant. That's amazing. And that's dinner too. That's oh, the best part. No. Alright, well. Drop it. You gotta recover a little bit. We gotta get you a picture of holding it. Look at this. <laughs> giant oh Alma Kojak on the jig. Epic battle. Oh Jennifer. Just bested this behemoth. These things are delicious to eat here. This guy will be dinner. They're really just what we needed, and they're such a strong fight. How was that? Amazing. <laughs> I'm beat. <laughs> She's still out of breath. She's shaking. Her legs are shaking. Yep. Man, what an incredible fish. I love Amazing it. job. Thank you. Congrats. Uh, thanks, That's a thanks. monster. Yeah, there you go. It doesn't really look like a banana. Keep it tight. Oh, me too. Uh, it might be, it might not be. No, it doesn't really feel like a banana. Could be. It's hard to tell from. Oh, uh, you're spot Yes, banana. Oh, bonita. Oh, no. This one. This one there or not? Huh? I'll go to the Oh, Oh. Okay. I'll go to the other Why not? Wow! See, un bebé. Yeah, like como aguja no, barracuda no. That was weird. His sail was down. We just saw a sailfish jump out of the water three or four times. A tiny sailfish. I think I saw that. Keep casting over there. Maybe you'll 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 get its attention. That was crazy. I've never seen one that small. I do see a lot of them jumping here like that, free jumping. I don't really know why they do it. He was just kind of like lazily flopping out of the water. That was weird. Holy Yep, hang on. That's something big, babe. That's something big. That's on the live bait. I'm looking for that thing. Here. Here. <laughs> hang on tight. Hang on tight. And uh, we got to stop that fish. You want to sit down? Sit down. There you go. There you go. That's something big, babe. And you got to horse it up right now as best you can. That's perfect. That's perfect. Oh, yeah, guys. We own. We own. Gracias, hermano. Yep. Yep. Keep working it hard. Now reel down, reel down. And lift back up hard. We got to get it out of the rocks if it's trying to go down there. I can't tell for sure, but we just got to assume that it is. All right, guys, we on something big. This dead bonita that we've been soaking yeah. for an hour and a half, it just got hit, and Jennifer's on. Big fish. 
Big fish. Yep. When it's running like that, you let it go, and as soon as it slacks, now reel. Don't let that line slack. Perfect. You're doing perfect. Woo wee! Ahora sí. Yeah, don't lift up the rod quite so much. Real, real. You want to let the rod go down further and not bring it up quite so high. This it's coming up. Es cerca, no? Big fish. Ah, creo que voy a ver. Sí. Sí, lo veo. Cubera. Cubera, creo. Cubera o grouper. Grouper, grouper, broomtail, big broomtail. Yeah. Look at that. Broomtail grouper. Oh, that's dinner right there. All right, I'm already to leader. Okay, okay. Tú puedes grabar, yo puedo. Nice. Look at that. That's a stud. Oh my gosh. Lo tienes o necesita ayuda? Hay un gaffe? No. Okay. Look at that one. Broomtail grouper, babe. <laughs> Monster! Oh my goodness! See, that's why they call them yeah. broomtail. You see that? See how cool Amazing. that is? That's oh. where they get their name, broomtail. Oh, oh beautiful fish. Oh. Amigo, <laughs> grande. Wow, look at the big old lip. And they got teeth, and this is the one that's got sharp stuff everywhere, so we gotta be oh, really careful. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Two today. That's it? <laughs> that, the other broomtail, that one makes it look like a baby. <laughs> That's a good one there. <sighs> they they don't really put up long fights, but they're just really strong yeah, while yeah. they're fighting. Oh my god. Look at that. Holy moly. Monster broomtail grouper for Jennifer. Great work. We just had a blitz of action. <sighs> Selfish jumping, Mahi hitting the poppers and missing. <laughs> and then the live bait went off, and look at that. That is dinner. Best eating oh, fish out here in this ocean, if oh, you ask me. The Pio's about to get on something. Tasty. The Pio sees something. Oh. Nice work, babe. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. What a monster. Amazing. Second one of the day. We got a small one earlier, and that was awesome on the jig. <laughs> this guy oh. dwarfs that one. We're going to be eating good. Oh, my God. Tonight. Golly. Oh. Grouper on the menu. One of my, my favorite. Here for a treat. Okay. Ooh -wee. Dinner served. Look at this. Let's start off with this grouper. Perfect eating size. Perfect. Broomtail grouper, one of my favorite, maybe my favorite fish to eat here. Now cleaning them is kind of a pain because like everything on this fish can hurt you. It's got sharp spines back here. It's got spines almost like teeth on its gill plate on the outside and inside its gills it's also got teeth that'll get you and if you shove your hand too far up in there you won't get your hand back in the same condition you put it in there with. So, so you gotta be careful with these guys but they fill you up just like any fish really. Really got the anatomy a lot like like a largemouth bass almost. Same kind of shape and profile. Now it's time for this behemoth Jennifer caught. Golly. That's a heavy fish, babe. Look at this thing. Wow. This guy plays up pretty simple as well, except that it's giant. This guy's probably 40 pounds, would be my guess. We've caught him up to 80, but this is a fantastic fish, especially on the jig. The 80 pounder's on live bait, which is cool, but it ain't nearly as cool as catching one this big on the jig, on artificial. So look at that. Thanks to Jennifer here. Now she's camera woman. She just, she does it all. A lot of mouths are gonna be fed by this guy. We're gonna eat some of it. We're gonna cook some of it up, and then uh, Morse is also gonna keep a little bit. I think he's gonna freeze a little bit of it. And he's got, they got some clients coming in a couple weeks. Normally we tell clients when they come here, you eating chicken until you start catching some fish, but we're gonna go ahead and pay it forward a little bit here and get them some fish to start out their trip with. But, but before then, we're gonna enjoy some of this for sure. I'll show you guys how I like to cook it up. When we don't have clients when it's just us. Pretty simple, it's gonna be good though. Look at this, Pisco Sours. This is a very authentic drink in Peru. It's fantastic, it's made with egg whites, 
and I don't know what else, rum and some kind of citrus. Is it good? It's amazing. It's kind of frothy and very alcoholic. And Jennifer's not much of a drinker, but she likes this one. Is it good? It's good. It's the cinnamon. Three hours old, this fish. Fresh as it gets. And we're back here with the Peruvians. We got Cynthia and Cesar, who used to be the Cuxalos Buzos. They're no longer the Cuxalos Buzos, but last time we were here with Jennifer, they were our cooks. They cooked her tuna that she caught, 65 pounder, and we're gonna have them cook it up kind of for old time's sake. Basically just fry this up in some oil with a little bit of flour, some seasoning, really good. See, creo que así, como flaco, como así. So we got some garlic going down first. Pimienta. Pepper. So we got a little like seasonal from Goya brand. You can't go wrong with that either. It's gonna have some citrus, a little salt, a little pepper, a little garlic. So we're seasoning this up. We got a super hot skillet. Uh, grouper seasoned with just a little bit of flour and some basic seasonings. Really nothing special. If you're catching good eating fish, you don't need a lot. I can't wait to try this fish. So this is leche de tigre. This is the ceviche juice. This stuff is amazing. And so now Cynthia is slicing up some of this grouper that Jennifer caught, this prunto grouper, super thin. And we're gonna make some ceviche with this. So we're gonna put that right in the juice and there's enough citrus in there, enough lime and lemon juice. Just gonna cook this fish. Incredible stuff. See? Bueno? Uh, put this fish, look at this. Ay, que rico, mira, mira. Oh my goodness. Facilito. No, it's good. It's really good. You caught it. Moist, juicy, got a nice crisp meat up. Wow. Okay. okay, I wasn't ready. Look at this ceviche. This is the same fish cooked, not at all, only in citric acid and lemon and lime juice. That's really good. Really good, right? That is really, really, really good. Dip it in the lace of the Look at that. It's like fresh, refreshing. It tastes like tropical. It feels like you're on a island vacation eating some yeah. fish, right? Like yeah. it's just. It's like clean. I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in the juice. I love that. Freaking fantastic, you guys. The cooked fish is amazing, but this ceviche, you guys. Fantastic. If you want this recipe, click up here in the top right, I think. I don't know, I'm all backwards. Look up top, there'll be a link. I'm pouring on my shirt. I might drink it off my shirt here in a minute. So good. So good. Wow. Thanks for catching a bit. <laughs> 